Hi everyone and welcome to the tutorial. Today I will be demonstrating how to work a knitted on bubble border. As you probably know you commonly work bubbles on the surface of your knitting but you can also work bubbles that hang off the edge of your knitting like this. I think this is a really lovely decorative finish for things like shawls and blankets. So your written instructions for this technique will read something like the following. Cast on two stitches. Knit one, purl one, knit one, purl one, knit one into first stitch. Turn, knit five, five times. Turn, slip second, third, fourth and fifth stitches over first stitch one at a time. Knit first stitch through back loop and then bind off two stitches. So let's see what that looks like. I have to begin by casting on two stitches as, as you just heard, you'll end up binding off two stitches near the end and that is what helps your bobble hang off the edge like this. So I like to use the knitted cast on method for this which means I pretend like I'm just knitting into the next stitch but then instead of sliding it from the left hand needle once worked, I take this new loop that's on my right hand needle and slip it onto the left hand needle, creating a new stitch. Do that one more time to cast on the second stitch, knit into next stitch which is now the first stitch that we cast on. Don't slip it from the left hand needle, put the new loop on your right hand needle onto the left hand needle and we've cast on two stitches. Now I need to knit one purl one, knit one purl one, knit one into the next stitch and this is a way also of increasing your stitches. So same sort of thing that we pretend like we're knitting the next stitch but then still don't slip it from the left hand needle. We then bring the working yarn to the front and purl the stitch. Bring the working yarn to the back and knit the stitch bring the working yarn to the front and purl the stitch bring the working yarn to the back and knit the stitch so we now have five stitches on our right hand needle from that one stitch that we began with then my instructions say to turn and knit five five times. So that means turn my work and knit these five stitches. So just do that normally. Once I've knit those five stitches once, I turn my work and knit five again and I want to do this five times in total to have worked five rows of garter stitch just across these five stitches turn and knit five for a third time turn and knit five for a fourth time and turn and knit five for a fifth time. So at the end of the fifth time I've turned my work and knit five, my written instructions then say to turn my work and slip the second, third, fourth and fifth stitches over the first stitch one at a time. So turn my work And it wants me to slip the second, third, fourth and fifth stitches one at a time over this first stitch. And what that will do is bind off these four stitches that we increased towards the start with the knit one, purl one, knit one, purl one, knit one into the same stitch. So to slip it over the first stitch we insert our needle into first the second stitch and pull it up and over that first stitch and that gets rid of it. Do that again with the third stitch, pull it up and over, 
Then again with the fourth stitch, bring it up and over. And last one, the fifth stitch, up and over. And what's that that's done has started to curl our bobble around so it actually makes a sort of ball shape. The last thing we need to do is knit the first stitch through the back loop. So this side would be the front loop of our stitches, making this side the back loop. So I insert my right hand needle into this back loop and knit the stitch which twists it. And then my written instructions say to bind off two stitches. So you'll remember at the start we cast on two stitches using the knitted cast on method and now we want to get rid of them which helps the bubble to be sort of separated from your knitting little gap here. So to do that I'll knit the next stitch and pass the second to last work stitch over the last. That's bound off one stitch and we do that one more time. Knit the next stitch and pass the second to last stitch over the last and there I've bound off two stitches. And then if I quickly knit to the end of my trim you'll see I have a bubble hanging off the edge of my work. And that's how you make a knitted on bubble border. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video please feel free to subscribe and if you have any questions or comments do leave them below.